It's the time of year again. Cuffing season? No. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. Hold on to your flat ironing board. Do you even squat pancake ass, bro? It's time for Call of Duty! <gasps> this is Call of Duty Warfare Warfare 2. The realest Call of Duty yet. Shut the fuck up, Sammy Sosa. I got this. This game is how it feels to chew five gum. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Last year's Call of Duty had the most disliked trailer on YouTube ever. And it really hurt to see how much damage it did. You completely destroyed that game. Damn, Screen Berets. I'm really impressed. You sure showed them who's boss. Let's be serious. A bad Call of Duty? Ha! Now that's an oxymoron. Just like female comedian. Whoa! The multiplayer is amazing as always. And relax, SJWs. This year, you can play as dudes and those things without peepees or whatever. But I have to say, sometimes, in between all the respawning and leveling up, and I'm hopping around with an RPG launcher like it's made out of cotton candy or something, I'll see someone with boobs, and I'm like, that is so unrealistic. Whatever. Fuck you, representation. I was so moved by the story in this game. Apparently, there was like a war that happened, and then, like, well, let this guy explain it. All right, fellas. This is our chance to break out of Norman. It won't be easy. <laughs> is it time to shoot somebody yet? Oh, and Dice? You better not go getting any ideas. Trying to come for the champ. Otherwise, you might get that Iron Sheik treatment. You know what I mean? Six suplex you, put in the camel clutch, break your back, and fuck your ass, I'll make you humble. Tim Clancy's Call of Duty, whatever the fuck they called it this year, is a masterpiece. It's got gorgeous graphics, the best gameplay, and so many fucking fips. All the fips. And you know they got them zombies on deck. Now are you gonna wait? No! Are you gonna miss the hype train? No! Are you gonna miss your chance for some worthless pre-order bullshit? No! 